Welcome to another playthrough of Mechanicus from 2018. This is Fork Bandit Steering Wheel, and today is also day 17 of this year's Mechanicus Mars Madness. Beep, 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 beep. So, I will have to get this out of the way right away. Uh, this is recorded on uh, s not late, but uh, uh, even uh, Monday evening. I quite recently ate food, so. Uh, I'm both tired from working today, and I had a rough day today, and I'm also tired from uh, recent eating. So I'm not gonna have the same type of, type of energy, perhaps that I might usually have. But to be honest, I don't have that much energy usually, otherwise too. So you will not technically see any difference in my way of acting. So we have done a lot of. Uh, let's see here. We did. Uh, I think we've done a lot of Skyvolla, so we think we're gonna continue with the... Wait, wait, I have to check here. So, one... One... Two... Three... Four... Uh, we're gonna do some Videx, I think. We haven't done Videx in a while. So we're gonna do that. So we're gonna get a better Skitaro uh, Rangers this time around. Purification. A mass of flayed ones are gathering in the tomb of Ubjau. Lector Dogmatis Videx urges attacking these flayed ones who will be relatively vulnerable in open battle. Burn them. Burn them all. Sounds like a certain character from uh, Game of Thrones, if you get my drift. And I continue with it. Oh, I'm still so mad that I killed my tech priest in the previous uh, playthrough. The tidings are glorious, Magus. I return gladness to hear it. <laughs> He's also so unbothered by that, like, I return gladness. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but sure, okay. The flayed ones of the tomb of Ubjau are waking in huge numbers and massing to attack. This strikes me as less than glorious. Holy moly, he's talking a lot here. A logical conclusion is that the aliens fear fear us. We have hurt them enough that they are forced to strike back. In doing so, they make themselves selves vulnerable. It is our duty to exploit this vulnerability, engage them and destroy them. The life of Uriah, Uriah Jacobus, 8.31, when the enemy offers open battle, take it and make it his final mistake. The whole lower level of the tomb of Ubjau is swarming with flayed ones. They're bottled up there by our Skitari perimeter, but it's only a matter of time before they break out and flood the whole tomb. Then, then we strike before they have the chance. The enemy has presented us with an opportunity to massacre them in great numbers. Helfrian Recollections, Chapter 5. Uh, 571. When the enemy begs for destruction, do not let him go hungry. It's what a soldier calls a target rich environment, Magos. Then let us make it a little less rich. I've sent in a team to inflict maximum casualties. I can think of nothing that would be so pl uh, so pleased uh, that would uh, so please the Omnissiah. I can't read today. I have a Monday brain. Purification and number sixteen. I'm pretty certain that this should be mission sixteen, but it could be that they don't count the prologue as a mission. So we're gonna fight there, and the next one is over there. So we're gonna go for a short while. Through here, I think that's going to be the best opportunity. Yeah, do it. Go for that. 
keep the missions as short as possible. Triarch Petro Petroleum. Let's see here. So we have a Praetorian in the middle, flayed one, a destroyer, flayed one, and we need oh this this type of map uh, map we played this before. So we want to get to these ones over here. The last time I ran, I made a stupid mistake of trying to walk around with a couple of my characters. We're not gonna do that mistake again. Man, the initiative is worthless for my characters. They start so uh, last. Okay, uh, well, you start first, then we have you, and then lastly, you. I can't use that just yet. Well, I think this is a good uh, churn out. Oh, that's, that's cheating. We barely even got out of the... Ah, you missed. <laughs> the only thing is that it's uh, fun is the, that they dodge so much earlier than... Uh, so it's like the Necros are so slow when they're gonna fight there. Oh, and then you got hit. Of course. Start by going up here, and then uh, use this to shoot the heavy on the destroyer. Nineteen. Ah, oh, it's in range. Critical. Seventeen. Might as well steal this. And then we're gonna go and muck about with the blade one here just because we can. 6 damage. Almost dead. Pokeboat! Now we're gonna make a rush over here. I just love how much. Uh, uh, gauge points I have at the moment. Well, you're gonna be my collector then, I feel like. Heal up. Fill me up before you go, go. I just wished I had one more gun to use for him, but uh, that's all for now. Okay, I think the destroy is gonna be the most annoying one. So we're gonna do it like this, we're gonna go here. Strike him. And then, uh, poke it out. Zero damage absorb, how much did, did he... Well, we're gonna go for the destroyer, obviously. Fire main cannon. Two damage. Here comes the question if we're gonna collect or... I'm gonna save this for now, as long as we can. Because there's gonna come a moment when we're gonna be desperate for it. And then we don't re we really don't wanna waste it. Thirteen, we're getting there. Can reveal the stats on these for our cap. Might as well reveal the stats on this one then. Eight. Because the question should we try and get away from here? 
How long can it go? How far can you go? How far can you go? I think we can go here and then we're gonna be protected from the destroyer that is. We can start by Schmackaroony. Did you even take a damage from that? Oh, you took a damage. But he didn't move. Ah, but he didn't. Uh... Like this, bish. And now comes the question if we're gonna fill it up or not. I don't think we're gonna fill it up just yet. That's my, my, mine. Fire secondary cannon. Man, is he tough or is he tough? That's the question. Why are we gonna rush over here so we get into cover from the destroyer? And then we can heal ourselves up. Yes, I think we're down there. Seriously? You're just asking for dying there. They have really singled him out. Okay, I think we're gonna wait <coughs> wait with him until the last turn and let the others uh, come and save him first. I think that's gonna be appropriate. Now, I really wanna shoot him, but we also wanna got to shoot these ones. Ease the pressure a little bit. Okay, um, fill it up or not? Uh, how much health is it? We're gonna get more of them eventually. We need to use this one. Ease the pressure. And then uh, poke it out. Him. Heal up our friend. Nobody should suffer as much as you have, my friend. But now I will bring you back. There we go. So and then we're gonna use the heavy gun on this one over here, I think. A less heavy gun on this one. Pew! And we can go into it for a close combat. Polka dot! He's not coming back. Can go up and start scanning. 
A good thing with the Praetorians is that they cannot, um, uh, what do you call it, oh, uh, opportunitize you. Yeah, he's gonna be ex sort of exposed uh, against the destroyer, but uh, we'll have to live with that. We we'll filled up the gouge a little bit at least. The destroyer is gonna be so freaking. Uh, let's destroy you. I said, let's destroy you. That's the opposite of destroying. Fire, main cannon. Fire, secondary cannon. Yeah, that's all for Dom. Here comes a question. I think we can activate the uh, Skitari so he can uh, be of use for a little bit. And um, we're not gonna activate any servitors just yet. We gotta sa save those for the last round. So he doesn't come back. And go for is it out of range? Well, here he is in range. Fire main cannon. Oh, that was critical and a radical at that. Like the Blackstone, while we still can. Let's reveal his uh, stats. I think five. Well, I think we're gonna do a smackaroonie here, keeping down the Necron uh, Awakening level. I think we're done there. You can start by. I think poking should be enough to kill it. That's the thing, I don't really want to use my uh, cannon on this one, but we don't have any other choice. Can go over here and then we're gonna destroy this one if we can. And then the heavy gun. On says destroyer, he's out of range. Seriously? Oh, he could technically come back there. <laughs> well, we're gonna try and finish this round before he does come back then. Well, he's not gonna come back. Bye bye! Good Skitari! Okay. Execute order six to six. Okay, so now we have to start thinking about re reviving ourselves. But also destroying these ones. I'm gonna use this one, this one. Uh, 
I should have used the poke on that one. Oh, I wasted one of the first shots. Oh, I'm, I'm so stupid. Well, I think we're gonna stand over here so we can get the gauge points for the next turn. And that's gonna activate the end of them. Ah, oh, shame really. I was hoping we could destroy the things there. A Necron artifact resembling a large globe inscribed with glowing runes lies half buried in a mass of decaying trash in this chamber. Destroy, detect. This is, we're gonna destroy. A lot of these are just guessing and then hope for the best. They have detected our presence. Just imagine if we had been able to uh, lower all of those. A squad of guitar has uh, been forced by injuries to abandon its post holding a key passageway leading deeper into the tomb. If left undefended, the flayed ones might have another way of low, uh, out of the lower levels, enabling them to avoid the coach vengeance. Explosive collapse the passageway with demolition charges. Expectionousness. Keep moving, tr trusting the speed to catch up with the main body of the flayed ones. Examination. Uh, explosives. All units take one damage, but we got this one. So that's a win lose situation. Let's go to the next room, shall we? Or destroy. I can just see how much of this is gonna activate many of the enemy uh, forces. Then we have this in the middle, and then we have this one on this side. And I, f I wonder if we're gonna activate this guitar right away. I think we're gonna activate it right away in case uh, we need to start blasting. Anyway, I started blasting. I might as well go collect. And then we start cutting. Insta destroyed. Here they come. I'm not that worried about escaping, to be quite honest. Let's start by poking. We can leave the destruction of this one to the next troopers that I walk out with. And then we're gonna focus on shooting these ones before they become a huge is issue to us. Take this. Heavy gun to the face! Free damage, not too bad. Take this secondary gun to the face! Okay, we didn't get much done there. Uh, can uh, see the stats of our flayed ones. These can't be the only opposition that we're gonna face off against it. We, it can't be. Destroy. Fire main cannon. Fire secondary cannon.
And down we do a Pokadoki. And down we can uh, use this one. Let's go up and make uh, this uh, warrior's day a little bit worse than it was before. Yep. I think he can go in the opposite direction. Fire! And then you can heal up our friend here. And sure, I could have gone the other direction and uh, started blasting on the tri uh, uh, Praetoria so he doesn't get any uh, recognition, but uh, I want to kill this. Uh, I want to kill this one. Well, there's en not enough points to go and smack him. Let's go. The good thing about leveling them up in this way, go for the Lexmatic, is that, uh, well, uh, they're gonna get a hell of a lot of points to use. See, we're gonna be a little bit mean here. Walk around. Uh, oh, we can't smack him, but we can poke him. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, we're not gonna activate any servitors. Opportunity one. Opportunity two. Tech priests are so overpowered. I love it. I love everything about it. Uh, I think we can uh, start uh, walking over here. Dun 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 dun. dun. Uh, let's see, we can start by healing up our friend. And get out of here! Skedaddle! Try and catch up here now! Too easy! More HP for our servitors. Blackstone earned, and we reduced the <laughs> awakening. Oh, yeah. Now we have one servitor that's close to death. Scan or destroy. You at the front, we're gonna go over there, and then we're gonna put you over there, and then we can put. It all depends on where they're gonna come from. I'm gonna activate this guitar right away, too. In the middle. Anyway, I started scanning. Necron Awakening. I think we're down there. Or wait, uh, I think suggested we go over here with this character. So we're gonna save these ones for the next.
Once the we activate the Necrons now. Here they come. Survive four rounds. I think we can manage that. Alright, so we're not gonna destroy this one right away. We are in fact gonna fire away. And we can go for a polka dot. Oh, I forgot to use that one. That was stupid of me. Polka dots! Falling back. So, we start blasting. Holier than thou. Schmackaroonie. Almost there. Almost dead now. Uh, let's go for the pokey. Then saving the um, axe for destroying this. Oh, not yet. Not yet. Don't want to use it that simply. Pew. Let's go to the middle and let them come to us, be like a hunter party or something. Don't you dare touch our Skitari. You just uh, you're just wishing for it that you didn't do that. Destroyed. Let's go and poke him. Here's the thing. I don't really wanna. Um Use it. They, they are. It's like waiting attacks on things that are already dead. But I don't also want them to come back. Uh, be gone with you. Now we're gonna heal up our guitar here, so we live a little bit longer. See how much I take care of my Skitari. You are like family to me. Okay, I don't think we need to do much more. We can reveal his stats. That's a boot it. Oh no, more flayed ones are coming. Servitor definitely gonna place there and one gonna be placed here. Wait, we're gonna place them near the uh, those. There we go. So they can actually do the attacks here. Okay, so you schmackaroonie and do the scream, scream and shout and let it all out. Uh, I think we're done there. Get be humbled. Okay, uh, 
Scream and shout and let it all out. Scream and shoot. This is gonna be a huge farming uh, opportunity to just kill a lot of uh, flayed ones. Holy moly. Even the servitors are slaying here. Okay, who are my who am I playing? I oh, yeah, we're playing as you. Uh can start by poking him, I think. No. Yeah, poke him. Then uh, Fire main cannon. Fire secondary cannon. And then heal yourself up. And then comes the question, should I destroy this one? Or should we let that be for the servitors to deal with? That's the thing. Yeah, let's go mess about with him. Survive this. Start by slaying. Slaying and killing all out. Slaying and killing all out. Can you shoot him? No, he's in the way. I think we're gonna go here so we can have a good proper shootout. Take this! And then we can go back here. We're leaving these slayed ones for uh, servitors to deal with, I think. You're in Malay. Worth it. Zero damage absorbed. Start by killing him. I said, kill him. Now we can start by seeing us contained. Mission complete. Finally, the last of the flayed ones in the area falls, temporarily reducing their active population in the tomb of Ubiao. The remains litter the tomb, leaving chunks of bloody flesh and shreds of skin behind as they teleport away. With luck and will of Omnisaya, this guitar will be able to keep the numbers of flayed ones at manageable level. A great blow has been struck against the enemy here, Magos. The flayed ones are among the most profane of all the Necron constructs. Hagiography of 4, 14.91, he who sows, sows doubt is as blameful as he who sheds blood. The tomb of Ubjao should be much safer for our troops to explore, and I admit I return a sense of gratification from my emotional centers to see so many of the enemies destroyed. Take no shame in exulting at the destruction of the Xenos. Though killing the alien is our solemn duty, that does not mean we cannot let it bio. I don't know what that means. 
let it bio up our spirits when it's accomplished Colloqu colloquialism minor chapter 51 if it's not work if you enjoy it well he's not wrong there Meal up sector located. The first forest into this tomb reveal a sight equally magnificent as dismaying. The tomb is a vast alien data loom, its structure covered in columns of Xenos data as if very substance were composed of knowledge. Some parts of the tomb are more organized, like libraries of shimmering data crystal. Others are lightless chasms where enormous pillars were moved constantly, like the elements of our gargantuan machine endlessly searching and sorting. Everywhere in, in the air hums with the sheer volume of information seeping from the every surface. This place is undoubtedly a mine of data. A tech priest can only look on it with lust as well as tre the trepidation. Okay, let's uh, upgrade. Only 37, wasn't we 37 before? Maybe we didn't move so much. 14, 14, and... Oh, they're all 14. That's, that's fine and dandy. Let's see here. Might as well do that. We're not gonna exchange it though, but uh, see, we ha got a new one. Oh, it needs free. Well, it's not gonna be worth it then. Because I prefer to have more of these where you can heal many rather than one where you heal a lot. Because it's rarely that I get to heal uh, up to 10 HP like that, either way, so. It doesn't really matter to Let's see if we can get the two of these instead. Ah, uh, but now we should be able to do so. Have we gotten a better some better equipment? Not so good not, not that. The same as always. Not so much interested in the. Yeah. Gonna go for the last one then. Oh, he's just out of range of uh, of being able to be upgraded. Poor shame. But we can uh, reacquire that, and then we're gonna go for. Needs two, but can I get that? Yeah. So we have, uh, let's see. Five, two, seven. Okay, so we have two of each. One that's gonna give me five to seven, and one who is fit for two to four. That's fine. Oh, we have a new deployment available. That's good. Then we're gonna go down for that in the next mission. Uh, but stay put for that. Thank you much for watching this. See you around, everybody. Bye bye.